Thanks. Some talk about the tyranny hit on, on Brock. Just yeah. uh, what's your take on it, having 48 hours to look at it again and digest it? Yeah, yeah, I think, again, I think we really seen it after it happened. It's uh, uh, I get a play on, on the power play that you don't really see happen very often where a guy, uh, you know, finishes his check. And, you know, after watching it, it definitely looked uh, a little more malicious than maybe we thought it was at first. And, and uh, I think just the position Brock was in, I don't think he was really expecting to get hit. And, and obviously, uh, you know, he had him right in the numbers, so I don't think it was a, a clean hit by any means. But uh, um, I think we're all just kind of worried, you know, concerned. That, you know, we just want Brock to get better and feel and feel better. We need him in, in a week here, so that's kind of our main focus, is getting him feeling better. But uh, um, yeah, it definitely wasn't uh, wasn't the cleanest hit, that's for sure. I thought it was late, and you know, you don't really see guys going out of their way, especially on PK. I think you, you know, you put yourself out of position if you go out and. Hit a guy against, a, you know, around the half wall there. I think a lot of times it's not really necessary to go out there, especially you know if the guy has control of the puck and passes it up to the D. So it wasn't really necessary. I thought I don't like the hit at all. It was, I think it was a dirty hit. Um, I think I said it in a rush yesterday, Ian. I'm not sure, but I it was a hit I didn't I didn't like it. Uh, it's on a player that's on the power play that's. You know, I've got a little, we didn't have great video on it in the first place because we were playing in a different arena that we didn't have any access to the video during the game at all. And I still hadn't watched it after the game. And, uh, but now that I've had some time to watch it, it, it is, it's not a hit that I like. And uh, I don't like that our, we're missing one of our marquee players. And that was on me yesterday. I should have explained it a little better uh, than I did, so. I mean, you don't see too many guys finish the checks on when they're PK, and so I mean, I, I think it sort of caught him a l little bit by surprise, but it was definitely sort of blindside from behind, and I mean, he, he hit his head pretty hard, so we're, we're hoping that he, um, as I said, gets better over the next few days here, and um, we're looking forward to getting him back in the lineup. Have you talked to him at all, just since how he's feeling? Yeah, uh, we've talked a bunch. We, we had dinner last night, so he's. Uh, I think he's getting better slowly. But I mean, it's you never know what the the concussions. I, I feel like one day is, one day can be good, one day can be bad. I think it depends on the the player, and and hopefully it, it is good going forward here. Obviously, he wants to come back ASAP, but at the same time, he's got to take care of himself, and you know he, we need him in the in the regular season. Have you talked to him? I have, yeah. Uh, we chatted, and uh, I think he's not feeling too shabby, so that's that's good. It's important, um, you know. Obviously, you know when I talked to him, I made sure that he knows that uh, he's got to be patient with it, uh, take his time, and um, really feel 100% once he comes back. What's not too shabby? Can you define shabby? Not too shabby? <laughs> <laughs> he looks all right. You know, he doesn't have the uh, crossed eyes right now, so he doesn't look too too bad, and um, you know that's important, but. You know, it's one thing to say it for me, but what he feels internally is, uh, you know, it's important to him. So uh, it might look good from the outside, but internally, you know, he might not feel well, but, um, you know, he's been around, so that's, that's good.